What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released the Golden Master or GM version of iOS 11.2.5 to developers, and I think it's out for public beta testers too. I've been waiting for this day to come for a very long time. iOS 11.2.5 has been in private and public beta testing for a couple of months now, and for such a small update, I feel like we should have seen it a lot sooner than we will be seeing it, but I believe this is the Golden Master version for a number of reasons. Number one, the size of this beta jumped from beta 6, which was around 2 200 megabytes to 2.22 gigabytes on my iPhone 10 for iOS 11.2.5 beta 7. That by itself is always a good sign that it's going to be the golden master version and in addition to that at number two, Apple confirmed that we will be seeing a new iOS update launch sometime next week. They told that to Buzzfeed a few days back and because iOS 11.2.5 just reached the final state that it's going to be in before release, this is the release candidate so it would only make sense if Apple did end up releasing iOS 11.2.5 as that promised update sometime next week. And on top of those two, if we check out the build number for this version of iOS 11.2.5 in the parentheses, there's no longer a letter listed after those. Usually in normal beta versions, there's a letter to indicate that it's not the final release version, and that's been eliminated in this update. Overall, I've really enjoyed iOS 11.2.5 so far. It's a small update. The only new feature here is that you can ask Siri about the news, and she will read you a daily podcast from the Washington Post, CNN, NPR, or Fox News. But other than that, there's a lot of behind the scenes changes apparently that Apple just hasn't been highlighting. We also know that iOS 11.2.5 corrects the ChiOS messages bug where you could get sent a malicious link and it would crash your phone or crash your messages app and can totally mess up whatever you're in the middle of. There's a fix for that in iOS 11.2.5. But everything else is very under the radar, pretty secretive, Apple hasn't shared a lot, so I hope we learn more in the official change log once this launches once again sometime next week. As always, I want to talk about battery life and performance. iOS 11.2.5 Beta 6 only came out a couple of days ago, so I can't really share my full experience with the battery other than it's it's still good. Like it's been really good throughout iOS 11.2.5 and it continues to feel good. It has not gotten any worse, which is good. And then for performance, I did get a higher score this time for my multi-core score, but a lower single core score. 4237 for the single core and 10,452 for the multi-core. That is a pretty good score. I think that is the second highest multi-core score that I've ever gotten, which means that iOS 11.2.5 is in a really good spot. So as of right now, that is everything you should know about iOS 11.2.5. It's a very small update with really only two changes that we know of so far, but it feels very stable, very smooth, and the performance is great as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, it does help me out if you take one second to drop a like down below, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to iAppDataOS.com slash merch, use the code beta for 10% off of your order of any t-shirt or hoodie, or combination of both on the site, that would be incredible. But for now, I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great and I will talk to you in my next video.